Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you what is a recurrent problem when calculating tool paths on surface-based project curves by the machining plugin. So let's start with an example uh, how not to do it so that you get an understanding what is the problem here. At first of all I created a surface here. Then add a new operation in the machining plugin list, open the option dialog, Select surface paths here, calculation based on surfaces, and choose the method how the toolpath is created. In this case, select project curves. One of the things a uh, machining plugin has to know is on which surface to calculate the processing. And of course, you have to choose the projection now because this is what it's all about. Okay, click here on uh, projection. And now select the edges of the surface. The thing is that it's not possible to select the complete border at once. You have to choose every single element separately. Hit enter then and we will return to the options dialog again. Click OK and start to calculate the toolpath. If you look at the drawn toolpath now, you will spot some unnecessary tractions in the process. At least when you start the simulation, you will get the problem. Because we had to choose every single element of the border, the plugin isn't able to recognize the single elements as a closed line or as one element. So sometimes there are changes of direction in it and retractions where they should not happen. So the ways the tool is doing here will not end up in an optimized process. But this should be the goal of the simulation process. Yeah, and now I want to show you um, a method how to solve this problem. I'm starting here with the same surface we had to the beginning. And at first of all, you should create a connected borderline that surrounds the surface. Okay, so choose curve here in the menu. Choose curve from objects and duplicate border. Now select the surface. Hit enter. And here you see we got a connected closed line around the surface. Now we join it with the surface. Choose this button here, OK. And we prove it. And there it is. A closed curve around the surface. Then create a new operation again in the machining plugin. Go into the options dialog and repeat the steps we did in the first part of this tutorial. Here on surfaces, project curves, choose the drive surface, and the projection line, and this is the line we created. Choose this curve here. Hit enter and click OK. Well, we choose a different tool here. And now calculate the toolpath. And now it's quite different to the first version. Okay, let's prove if it's okay. Reduce the speed. And here you see no unnecessary retractions. Yeah, this is how it works. Now you get an optimized milling process.